Today we will look into order of operations. When simplifying an expression with many operations, we will consider order of operations. And first one is grouping symbols, parentheses, brackets, and fraction bars. And second one is going to be our exponents. Then we will do multiplication and division left to right. And we will do any addition and subtraction left to right. Here's our first example. I will first look to see if there are any grouping symbols. There are no parentheses. Next, I'll check to see if there are any exponents. We will take care of the exponent first. I will copy everything else same. Divide by 9 plus 3. 3 squared is 9. Then we will do division or multiplication left to right. Division in here should be done as the next step we will have 3 plus 3 and last step addition 6 let's look at the next example we have 48 divided by 3 plus 2 we will do division first because we don't have any grouping or exponents to take care 48 divided by 3 is 16 plus 2 16 plus 2 is 18. If we solve the questions with one step at a time, there is a less chance of an error. So I recommend copying everything else down and solving, simplifying one step at a time. When I look at this group of operations, I uh, don't see any grouping symbol and no exponents either we will take care of the division first copy 12 plus 6 divided by 3 is 2 and copy negative 2 I will do addition and subtraction left to right 12 plus 2 is 14 copy negative 2 14 minus 2 is 12 will be our final answer question number 4 is slightly different it's different because it has a fraction bar and fraction bar separates the numerator and denominator from each other and creates two sections so I'm going to put a parenthesis around the numerator and parenthesis around denominator and fraction bar is invisibly creating two different groups so we will have to do the grouping first that's why at the beginning of our paper we said the group grouping symbols are brackets parentheses and fraction bars so when you see a fraction bar it will separate the numerator and denominator from each other let's solve our <coughs> numerator 24 times 3 is equal to 72 divide by on the denominator I have an exponent each time you go inside of a uh, grouping symbol order of operation reset so you look for new exponents new grouping symbols new exponents and so forth here is our exponent evaluated I have 5 plus 9 minus 2 our next step is 72 divided by I will do uh, adding the items in the denominator 5 plus 9 is 14 I'll continue with my next step 72 divided by 14 minus 2 is 12 I can simplify both 72 and 12 with 12 it turns out that 12 goes into 72 and this will be 6 over 1 everyone knows that 6 over 1 is equal to 6 in its simplest form Here's our next example. We are going to take care of the operations that are inside of the grouping symbols. 36 and 6 subtracted, we have 30. Because there are no longer uh, operations left inside the parenthesis, we don't need the parenthesis anymore. I have the division bar, 3 plus 3 is 6. 30 divided by 6 is 5. Our next example is one of the complicated looking ones. It's actually 
the same process so we will start with the inside of the grouping symbol and whenever you are inside of the grouping symbol the order of operation resets so we look for new grouping symbol and whenever we are inside of the grouping symbol here I uh, look for a new grouping symbol and inside of that grouping symbol look for a new grouping symbol each time you go inside of a uh, parenthesis order of operation resets so you look for new order um, I will start from the most inner parenthesis and inside of that we have a exponent an exponent we will take care of the exponent first copy everything else same copy everything else same and take care of the multiplication in the inner parenthesis as you can see I did not uh, write a parenthesis around 50 because there are no longer operations left so we don't need the parenthesis 10 plus 50 is 60 again I don't need a parenthesis divide by 6 which is equal to 10 our next topic is about variables and exponents we have a couple notes to fill in. I have filled them earlier, so I'm going to share that with you. First one is a variable. A variable is a letter that represents one or more numbers. You could have variables as x, for example, a, c, etc. Those could be variables. An expression is a group of letters, numbers, and or operations. Feel free to stop the video and take complete the notes. Our next vocabulary is equation. An equation is a mathematical sentence that includes an equal sign. Inequality is a mathematical sentence that includes an inequality signs. Inequality signs can be less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. Or we can even add not equal sign into that list. Inequal, inequality, not equal. Evaluate means finding the value of an expression for a given variable. An exponent represents the number of times the base is used as a factor. A power is an expression that represents repeated multiplication of the same factor. A base is the number that is being multiplied by itself. For the base exponent power, we can look at a small example together. Let's write this on our paper too. If I do uh, x to the second power, then x in this case would be the base, and second power would be the exponent and then this tells us to multiply the x by itself twice lastly we have a term a term is a group of numbers or variables that are separated by addition and subtraction operations it's separated by addition and subtraction operations now we will look into evaluating some expressions evaluating means we find the value of the expression for a given variable if I look at my first example 8y we will try to evaluate 8y when y is equal to 2 so we will take y is equal to 2 
and substitute into the expression where we see y value that would make 8 times 2 8 times 2 is equal to 16 our next example it has three terms x plus y plus z when x is 2 y is 5 and z is 7 I will need to substitute x y and z in correct places 2 plus 5 plus 7 after substituting them we can just add them together to find the value of the expression this is how we would evaluate expressions sometimes instead of evaluating expression we would have to find the value for an equation on the question word problem here we have a person who deposited five hundred dollars at the rate of eight percent per year how much interest in simple interest will this person earn after six months we will use i is equal to p times r times t formula where p is principal r is rate and t is time in years after writing the equation i is equal to p times r times t we will substitute our given information five hundred dollars is the principal then percent eight percent we would convert that into decimal eight percent would be zero point zero eight in decimal form so i will use that as my rate and the time should be in years and we have only six months six months would be half of a year so I would use 0 0.5 for the time all I have to do now is to multiply these together 500 times 0 0.08 that's 40 40 times 0 0.5 is equal to 20 this would be $20 and this person would earn $20 after depositing their money of $500 for a half a year with an 8% interest let's look at the next two examples we have to evaluate the expressions with the given a and b values I will take the a value and b value and substitute them in to the expression where we see a and b if I plug them in substitute 3 plus 2 parentheses squared 3 plus 2 is 5 5 squared means 5 times 5 which is equal to 25 difference between the be, difference between these two examples is that one has a parenthesis the other one did not and when you don't have a parenthesis you will just follow your order of operations substitute a and b values a squared b squared which is 9 and 4 and 9 plus 4 is 13 and here is our <coughs> next two examples we have 2 x cubed I will have to take the x value and substitute where we see the x in the expression 2 times 4 cubed 4 cubed means 4 times 4 times 4 so I will just do the exponent part first 2 times 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 2 times 64 is 128 I will do the same style for my number 7 example I'm evaluating this for x is equal to 4 so we will substitute 4 for the x value 2 times 4 is 8 we will have to take care of the parentheses first this is 8 and then now we have 8 cubed this means 8 times 8 times 8 which will be equal to 512 that's pretty much it um, there are a couple of you try examples and please try them on your own if you have any questions please make sure to ask in the class.